Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back uh, to today's second session with Jean Kalmanich. Uh, we appreciate you being here. As usual, use the raise your hand function if you want to ask any questions, and we'll go over uh, those immediately. Let's start with Mike Craven. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, so you know, you've played a lot of minutes so far this year, probably more than you expected to uh, when the year started. So I, I'm just curious where you're at physically, where you're at mentally, and, and what this last couple of months has been like for you uh, adjusting to, to this level of play and this amount of play. Uh, yeah, I, I'm playing a lot of minutes, uh, basically every game, which is what every player wants. So uh, physically, it's just the heat. Uh, Texas heat is every day is getting hotter, but mentally uh, I'm in a good place and physically I'm trying to do everything to recover as fast uh, and good as possible. So that's it. Mark Turner. Hi, Jean. Um, I mentioned to coach after the last match that it looks like whenever the opposition score first at Q2, there's a degree of anxiety among the team, um, understandably so. Are you feeling that out on the field? And what as a team are you able to do to address that? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it anxiety. It's just we are happy to play at home. We want to make Q2 kind of our fortress uh, so that the other teams like would see that uh, it's a big thing for us playing at home. Uh, it didn't go as well as we expected for us to be playing at home, but we showed we showed against Portland that that we can score, we can beat. Uh, good teams and that's that's our goal for the future so how does it impact the team's mentality when the other team scores first does it affect you at all uh i mean of course it affects you in like everything uh, what happens on the pit on the pitch uh affects you in in some kind of way but uh we just have to get our heads up and know that we can score too and uh we showed also that we can we can pick ourselves up even if we're losing and we know that. Thank you, Mark. Let's go with Chris Bills, followed by John Lupo. Thanks, Mauricio. Hi, John. Um, you you played for a very successful club in in, uh, in Slovenia, and uh, you know I'm not sure what your youth career looked like, but um, like, have you ever been through a stretch like this team wise? And, you know, if so, how did you respond? And, uh, if not, how, you know, how are you learning to, to contribute during these moments, um, that are, that are kind of difficult for, for a team? Uh, I mean, even playing for the best team in Slovenia, uh, we, we had also our ups and downs. So, uh, not every situation is perfect, uh, even back home after a couple of losses, uh, when it's expected for us to win every game, uh, it's been tough. So I've been learning. Uh, I've been learning since I was, if I can say, young. Uh, when I joined the senior team in Maribor when I was 17. So uh, I went through a couple of tough situations. So I kind of know what we have to do. And uh, we just basically need to stay calm. and believe in ourselves that uh, we're going to get better and when then the results won't come yeah and you talk about that like it sounds like a mentality you know how how do you feel like or do you feel like you guys need to better you know express that that mentality on the pitch of you know you can tell that you guys want to win you're competing hard but you know working together and and you know continuing to play you know what are you feeling there and you know, how have you guys tried to address that within the locker room of, you know, we need to show this now, not just, you know, say that we want to win? Uh, yeah, it, it is a little bit frustrating, especially the way the way we play. We have a lot of possession. Uh, we create chances, but it's just that little little push to score a goal and then everything's going to be easier. Like if you're if you're scoring, then your confidence goes up. Uh, but uh, either way, we, we talk with the players, uh, we know what we have to do, 
and that's just our goal to get our confidence up. Thank you, Chris. John Lupo, go ahead. Thank you, Mauricio. Uh, John, you have Dallas and Houston coming up this week, so obviously those are two teams in the state of Texas that'll be rivals for you. It's the first time you guys are contesting derbies. From your own experience playing in Slovenia and derbies, how, how do you approach this? And also, is there any extra weight or any extra expectation being that this is the first time you'll be facing both of your in-state rivals? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, derbies, as the name, as the name uh, suits, uh, suits itself, like it's a little bit extra motivation uh, even though you're motivated for for each and every game that you play, but this is the state state derby, uh, and we want to beat uh, Houston and Dallas. John, I have an internal question here um, that I'm going to ask on behalf of one of our, our reporters. Um, throughout all the matches that you have played. How do you feel your adaptation has been and how are you adapting as a whole to the city of Texas, of Austin, Texas? Uh, I think my adaptation has been pretty good. Like um, I connected with all the players. Uh, we are one big family. Uh, the guys, my teammates have helped me uh, settle in uh, so that I can adapt as soon as possible. People that work at the facility, uh, at the club, uh, even people that live in Austin, uh, I got a lot of messages, so uh, I'm grateful for that. Uh, people are treating me very good, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. And a follow-up question to that was, uh, how do you feel your interaction and your chemistry has been with the defensive line, with your peers at the defensive line? Uh, I think it's been pretty good. Like. Uh, Playing with Matt behind my back, like I said previously, uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, he talks to me a lot. Uh, he gives me a lot of instructions. Uh, he has a lot of experience, so I just need to I, I just need to listen to him. Uh, and everything everything else has been has been good so far. Thank you very much. It seems that would be it for today, unless anybody else has a question for Jean here. Going once, going twice. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jean. I appreciate your time in, um, uh, today.